Hello, hello, Kujo here with another video. This month's video is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm going to be doing a remake of one of my previous videos that a lot of people were very interested in, so hopefully this video will be a much more concise uh, tutorial. It's going to be going over the Synology Active Backup for Business application. It's the software I use with my Synology NAS to do backups of all my devices. Uh, my PCs, my VMs, my servers. It's uh, mainly designed as a bare metal backup, so you can do bare metal restores or I can do file level if I want to. It is only available on certain Synology NASes, not the uh, consumer or the budget ones. Uh, it has to have a Intel CPU inside of it. Uh, I'm not sure the specific reasoning for this, but I know that it's not able to do uh, any of the extra features without that. The same goes for you have to format your Synology NAS with ButterFS. Uh, it will not use ext4 because it uses some of the BRTFS or ButterFS uh, features such as uh, versioning for sna or snapshots, versioning, stuff like that. Um, it does require that for deduplication, which deduplication, if you don't know, it makes one copy of data that's repeated over and over. So that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, so for example, I back up about eight Windows devices. I'm not backing up eight System32 folders. I'm backing up one System32 folder and then it goes, hey, these files are the same across these eight devices. We don't need to keep eight copies of this file. So deduplication goes through, looks at data that's the same and it only has to keep one copy of it and just keeps records of which devices and backups use that copy. So saves a lot of data if you use deduplication. So yeah, with that said, there are a couple more caveats, uh, unfortunately. For Linux, you have to be running a certain kernel version to uh, utilize it. Um, I forget the specific version. I'll go ahead and put that right up here. Uh, also, it sees the Linux as a server and not a PC. Not a big deal, it's just how it's categorized and how you find it in the Synology NAS uh, application and everything. So yeah, this is a quick tutorial on how to do a bare metal restore. Um, I'm actually doing this on my sub $300 PC. I attempted to do the gaming on Linux uh, video last month. And after I was done with that, I was like, okay, time to reinstall Windows. And I just used one of the backups I had, so. Yeah, here's how quick it was to go from Linux to Windows. Okay, so here is the process to restoring using Synology's Active Backup for Business application. So for this PC, I had Windows installed. I took a backup of it and then I installed Linux. And now I would like to go back to Windows. So I am booting from the bootable USB flash drive that I created uh, using Synology software. And it is loading into that right now. So, yep, it is giving me the information. Uh, I'm connected through a wired network, so it didn't require me to set up the Wi-Fi or anything like that. I am logging into the Synology now using my login information. Uh, I have two-factor authentication, so this message pops up for me. Uh, it may not pop up for you. It's totally dependent on how your Synology is configured. Okay, now it is giving me a list of all of the backups that I have access to using my account. Uh, for this one, I just want to do a restore of this PC specifically. I'm doing a uh, full bare metal restore, so it's restoring the entire device, all the boot disks, everything. And I'm just going to go with the latest backup that I have, which is the backup before I installed Linux. Selecting that, giving me a quick overview of all the things that are being restored. Okay, yep, click OK. And it's restoring. That is it. Super simple. Now we wait. A few minutes later. Okay, so after about 25 minutes, completely restored. So now all we need to do is go ahead and click finish, and then we'll go ahead and reboot into the OS. That's it, we're done. Simple as that. So just make sure you go ahead and remove the flash drive when you reboot, and it should boot right into the OS that you just restored. Okay, so as you can see, this uh, 
Active Backup for Business software, which I really hate the name. Very long name. Uh, I usually just shorten it to Active Backup, mainly because it's not specific for business because I use that at home. It's completely free, no licensing, no costs. Uh, all, all the features are included, so yeah, there's uh, there's no reason I had the for business at the end of it, but uh, yeah. The Active Backup uh, software Definitely a godsend. Uh, I've done multiple, multiple restores, uh, both file and bare metal. Never had any issues with it. Uh, definitely recommend it if you have a lot of PCs at home that, uh, in particular, you do not use. Because uh, if you have a PC that a kid or a spouse, you know, significant others using, uh, they mess it up. You don't want to have to go through a long restore and they have to go look for their files. It's just so much easier to just pop in the thumb drive, go through that process, and bam, back online. So hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's given somebody some inspiration to start taking backups who hasn't in the past because they are super simple to do, especially if you already have a Synology NAS, if it's capable of running the software. I definitely recommend you install it and give it a try. Uh, setting it up is super easy, so so no reason not to have backups at this point. And yeah, if this saves one person from losing their data, then I'm happy. Thanks for watching. Peace out.